So if you recently replaced the crank or camshaft position sensor and you're having issues with your vehicle, I thought I'd go over some of the causes of this and some of the possible fixes. And so two common problems that happen after replacing a crank or camshaft position sensor is that the engine won't start or the engine runs rough. And so some possible causes of this, well, the vehicle might have a reset or relearn procedure for those sensors. The wiring could have got damaged when you installed it. It could be a faulty aftermarket sensor. Sometimes low cost sensors just don't work correctly. Sometimes the cam and crankshaft position sensors don't work correctly together and need to be both replaced. Sometimes the position can get off when you go to insert them. It might have gotten a little bit off and it's not working correctly. And always check for a blown fuse because a fuse might have blown when you install them. And so the first thing is the reset and relearn procedure. And every vehicle is going to be different. Some don't need this. Some will just start up and run good right off the bat. But other ones, when you start it up, they don't run correctly. There's something off about it. And the sensor has a relearn procedure for it to start working correctly correctly again. Quite often you just need to drive the vehicle. More advanced OBD2 scan tools will often have a feature in there for them to relearn. But most people won't have access to one of these type of scan tools. There's often a manual procedure that you can do and the only way to know that is to google your particular vehicle to find out if there is one or not. For example inside this form they're talking about a 2009 Chevy Trailblazer and this would be the preset procedure for that particular vehicle for the crankshaft position sensor to relearn which is a series of steps that can be done. So like I said it can vary. Quite often you just need to drive the vehicle and it'll relearn on its own but you'll need to research it a little bit to find out for sure what's going on with your particular engine. And so next up is going to be that the wiring got damaged when it got installed and this does happen. Quite often these little plugs that are inside of here they just don't make a good connection or there's a wire off or something so go examine the wiring and be sure that everything's inserted in good and things like this that when it got pulled out that one of these wires didn't get pulled out or something because that does happen and if those wires aren't connected good then it can cause a problem and that brings me to another thing is be sure to check for a blown fuse because sometimes a fuse will blow when you go to swap these out especially if you've been testing the circuitry or anything like this and, and something got accidentally shorted then it might have blew a fuse you'll have to google which fuse it is for your particular vehicle but go and check the fuse box and be sure that no fuse got blown. Another thing that commonly happens is that an aftermarket sensor is just bad. It just doesn't want to work correctly. I bought in low cost sensors on eBay and they work fine most of the time, but then occasionally you'll get one and it'll cause you a headache because it's bad and it doesn't work. So that's another thing to keep in mind is that it might just be a faulty aftermarket sensor that's causing you a problem. Another thing that can happen sometimes, although not so common, is that sometimes you need to replace all the crankshaft and camshaft position sensors from the same manufacturer and all new all at the same time. This might sound strange, but sometimes you might go to change out a camshaft position sensor and it just won't work correctly with the crankshaft position sensor and it's throwing off the timing and everything. It's just not correct. And sometimes the only solution to this is that you replace all the sensors all new with from the same manufacturer. And so while not common, that does happen sometimes and something to keep in mind. And the last thing is going to be that when it got inserted back in, it's just not in the correct position for some reason. And usually there's only one way it could go in and it locks in so you know what goes in correctly. But some vehicles, when you go to put it in, they can get a little bit off and it's just throwing the angle off just enough where it's just not lined up correctly. And so go and examine it and be sure that it's got inserted in there right at the right spot because if it's off just a little bit sometimes it can throw off that sensor and the engine won't run right. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to do a video on what you could do after replacing the, the crank or camshaft position sensors especially if the vehicle doesn't run right or won't start. If you have anything to add please comment down below. If you have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.